Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage and Reviews, and today I'm gonna review one of Bells of Steel's most interesting offerings. <laughs> yes, interesting. Bells of Steel has a ton of products. We've reviewed many of them, but I do think this is one of their most outstanding, most interesting, best value that's available, truly. Let's get into it. Okay, Bells of Steel has a ton of products. They're an equipment manufacturer that is selling the lot of strength equipment. Very similar to companies out there like Rep Fitness and Titan Fitness where they just have a huge product offering. And we've reviewed many of their products, but this one, like I said in the intro, like it really stood out to me and for a number of reasons. Now we've got multiple options, both a plate loaded and a weight stack version in house that you can see behind me. I've tested and reviewed both of these. I'm gonna be comparing these in this review to other ones that are out there like the Titan Pulley Tower V3 that we've reviewed and like I really liked, especially for the price point. I'm gonna tell you how I think this one compares to that one. Also, we've done a breakdown on all the best functional trainers. If you'd like to see that, you can check it out, the link below the like button or just in our playlist. Also, if you're looking specifically for a functional trainer or really anything for your home gym, I suggest subscribing because we have a lot of content that's upcoming with products like this one in this price point and varies from that. Now, before I get started, for transparency's sake, if you're new here, I do this every video. Bells of Steel sent this product free to us for a review. I'm gonna give you my honest take. Also, if you'd like to purchase it, if you wanna buy one and add it to your home gym, I'll put links below the like button that you can check out, click those, go buy it. It doesn't increase the cost you pay, but Bells of Steel will pay us a small commission. Okay, so this is a pulley tower designed specifically to be wall mounted, a single pulley tower. Now, these don't have to be wall mounted, but that's really how they're designed. You can add some other things, which is kind of, I think, the summary of what Bells of Steel is doing now, where they're offering a ton of customization and modularity at a value price point, which I freaking love. And this product is no different, but this is really like, I think in many regards, a home gym owner's dream product. Reason being is it's value priced, it's very versatile, it can be wall mounted, doesn't take up a lot of space, and has a lot of customization and accessories you can use with it. If you're not sold yet, I don't know what will sell you. But I'll start with the plate loaded version because they're very similar, but I want to speak to both. The plate loaded version is the more budget friendly version. That's just in general for plate loaded products. It can go heavier than the weight stack, although the cables are only rated to 250 pounds. I'm kind of surprised they didn't go with heavier rated cables than that, but that's what's listed on their website. So I wouldn't suggest exceeding that. The plate loaded version has pretty much all the same things that the weight stack version has. The difference being it has as standard nylon pulleys instead of aluminum pulleys. Aluminum is better for a home gym, it's smoother. Nylon is better for a commercial gym. It's not as smooth, but they're not gonna wear the cable as much. I prefer generally aluminum. So, but one thing that's unique about this is you can actually upgrade the plate loaded version later or at checkout with aluminum pulleys if you'd prefer to have those because it will make it smoother. Now, the plate loaded version, because you're using the plates that you have and because it doesn't have to ship with a huge huge stack is way cheaper than the weight stack version, even though it takes up the same amount of space. So if you're okay adding on your own plates and doing some mental math, which may be good for some of you freaking meatheads, then I think the plate loader version is quite all right. Now, the biggest thing to watch out for is the smoothness on the machine. It is way smoother, I think, than the Titan Pulley Tower for not that much more money than the Titan Pulley Tower V3 because it's using guide rods, similar guide rods to what it's using on the weight stack but it's still plate loaded. And really, I think if you add the aluminum pulleys, this thing would be buttery smooth. Now to the weight stack version. The weight stack version is very similar, offers very much the same things as the plate loaded version, but is in a weight stack pinned option. Weight stacks are superior to plate loaded simply for the fact that they're simpler, easier to use. You don't have to think about it. It tells you the number on the plate. You just plug it in and ready to go. One of the big features about these though, is one, because they're single stacks and wall mounted, you can put them wherever you have studs, or if you don't have studs, you can add an extra upright for 80 bucks on the back for extra stability. You can also connect these together if you wanted, that's how we have it in the back, and it can be used like a squat rack. So you could technically just get two of these and use these like a squat rack, have a functional trainer, have it wall mounted, and add a pretty darn good price. 
The weight stack goes up to 210 pounds. It's a two to one pulley ratio, which means basically you pull on one pulley, it's gonna feel, the feel weight is gonna be half of that. So 105 pounds would be the max. But one of the reasons I really like these is there's two exit points. You connect those two carabiners together, suddenly you're using a one to one ratio. So you don't have as much cable travel when you're using one to one, but you're using the full capacity of the stack. So if you're using one of the cables, it's 105 pounds max. If you combine them together, you get all all 210 pounds, which is very nice when you're doing lat pull downs, low rows, and things that you need a lot more weight on, which I really, really like. Like, so if you combine two of these together, you've got four exit points and just a massive amount of weight available to you. Whereas most functional trainers, you simply don't because they don't have that amount of cables that are on them. I really like that they decided to have the multiple exit points. I think it's a huge benefit and allows the user to decide how much weight they're using. Also, if you really wanted to, you could use this with cable crossovers with a single stack. You're not gonna have the stretch that you can, but you can use two pulleys to get around. You're gonna have some cable rubbing and things like that, but I do like them better than just a single pulley. Now to one of the features that is like outstanding and really makes this stand out from other products that are out there on both the stack option and the plate loaded option is the front upright. The front upright is a two by two upright, so two inch by two inch with holes all throughout. And Bells of Steel wasn't just like, oh, we'll make this and hopefully people buy it and maybe later on we'll make accessories. No, when they came out with it, they had tons of accessories available for it, which is awesome. Accessories like plate pins, leg rollers, dip horns, even a jammer arm slash belt squat. So if you wanna use this like a rack or you wanna use this to add weight to movements, say like dips or something like that, you can do those sorts of things with this. This, which is really cool. I love that they add accessories for this. Most functional trainers, those uprights that are on functional trainers are only ever used for the trolleys. That's pretty much all they're used for. They made this one a little bit bigger. They allowed you to use the accessories from some of their other Bells of Steel racks that use the two by two accessories and bam, you can use them on this. I love that addition. I think it adds to rigidity. It makes it look better, look cleaner, and also just allows you to have more versatility like using it as a squat rack. Like you can play, they have J cups and spart arms you can put on this and a pull up bar that's removable that goes on the top that like we have here, that you can turn this legitimately into a very compact squat rack functional trainer all in one unit, which I really like. Now to the value, cause you're looking at this and you're looking at other ones, which one should I go with? The cheapest option of one that's like this is the Titan wall mount pulley tower V3. If you just want like, I just want the cheapest one, just tell me the cheapest one, go with that one. If you don't mind spending just a little bit more, like a hundred bucks or so, you're gonna get a lot more out of this, this one, the Bells of Steel one, plate loaded option, than you will the Titan. This one is way smoother, it's a better design, it's better looking, it has upgradable pulleys to aluminum, it also has the two exit points, but in addition to that, it has the upright that you can actually add accessories to on the front and more holes up and down that you can use. Like just the value on this, I think for the plate loaded option at 340 bucks, with free shipping included, I think is awesome. Honestly, like there's some things about this that I think are just okay. I don't love the height. I think it's a little bit low, but it works for basements. I wish they also offered a higher option for those that live above ground and garage gyms, superior. But I think this makes sense if they're just gonna offer one option. Also the fit and finish is okay, but I think it works for the price point. Honestly, this is one of Bells of Steel's best products. If I'm like going to Bells of Steel and you're like, what one product do you recommend from Bells of Steel? It'd be this one. Like, Truly, I think this is their best product they make, like most outstanding, offers the most features, unique design, works really well. Also just like, I think hits what Bells of Steel does well, which is a very good value. This is it, like it's really good. Then let's move to the weight stack option, which is much more expensive. It's a weight stack, also comes standard with aluminum pulleys. It's 1120 bucks with free shipping. So quite a bit more expensive. Most of you, I just recommend the plate loaded option. Like it's that good. I think you can upgrade it smooth. You can use plates. But if you're like, I gotta have a weight stack, I still recommend this one because there's not a lot of competitors that are within this realm with a single stack, wall mounted, within this price point, with the stack that's offered. You're just not gonna have a lot of competition. One of them is Gitter X, which doesn't get talked about a lot, but they have an option that's similar to this, but they're not offering the accessories and things like that modularity that Bells of Steel's offering on this one. So what I would say, if you want the weight stack option, I think this is a good option, 
But I think for most of you, I think the plate loaded option just blows away on price point the weight stack option. It really does. Now that said, one possible configuration that's kind of cool would be to have two of these like we have behind us and use it like a squat rack with two weight stacks. You would have a squat rack and a dedicated functional trainer with four exit points that could get very heavy, which I think is a really cool build. That said, you're gonna be getting to the realm in price point of a standalone functional trainer if you get two of those. So if you get two of those versus say a Titan functional trainer or a Rep Fitness FT5000 version two, the price point is honestly gonna be pretty similar. This may be a little bit less, but not a ton. So I would really only suggest getting two of those if you also want to use it as a squat rack and don't have a ton of space. So talking about the idea of the squat rack, one thing I wanted to call out was with the pull-up bar. It's a knurled pull-up bar, actually pretty nice, and connects the two uprights together on the wall mount. One of the issues though, is it's not really removable because you can't remove it from the top of the uprights. So you basically, the way it connects is it connects to the side the C channels going like that versus like this, if that makes sense. I think it's a poor design. I would like to see them attach it from the top. Then you put a pop pin in, it still have the same stability and would allow it to be removed easily. If you're looking at getting two of these, one kind of cool option and something that we're doing more and more is reviewing some of these lower priced full featured racks. An example is like the Major Ludi rack or the RIT Fit or the Fitness Reality 810 XLT. If you'd like to see any of those reviews, make sure you subscribe because those are forthcoming. What I'd say generally is the price point on two of these plate loaded ones I think is a killer deal versus say a RitFit or one of those that's standalone. Cause those are like, they can get up there a thousand bucks or so for some of those that have functional trainers, but they're still plate loaded where this one I think could be a legitimate squat rack too, but also plate loaded. Those ones have advantages with multiple posts and things like that, but it just depends on you the build you're looking for. But if you'd like to see me compare one of these versus one of those specifically, let me know in the comments. Due to the design of the upright being two by two with a specific hole size, Honestly, there aren't a ton of companies out there that are gonna work with this because oftentimes companies that are using a two by two upright are using a thinner gauge steel, so they use a one inch hole. So you're thinking of like your rep PR 1100s, PR 1000, Titan X2s, those sorts of racks. Many of those attachments simply won't work on this because they use a larger pin size. With that said though, I think Bells of Steel is offering enough accessories on this that you really don't have to worry about it. So to round it out, do I recommend these? The plate load option, heck yes. Like I recommend it above the Titan one. I think the value on it, like truly, I think it's one of Bells of Steel best product. But the weight stack version, it just depends how you're gonna use it and if you really want that weight stack option. It's just when I start seeing like a single stack for above a thousand bucks, you have to question whether the stack is really worth it when the plate loaded is so much cheaper. All right, have you used these? I'd love to hear from you if you have. I know a lot of you do like this one and others because they're just so compact, so price friendly, so customizable. They have a back upright for these that you can connect together and put plates on the back and use it as a standalone rack, which I think is pretty sick with the functional trainer. I'd love to hear if you've used them, how you think this compares to other ones out there, or if you'd like to see this one in a full breakdown review versus another functional trainer that's out there, let me know in the comments. This has been Coop from Garage and Reviews. I'll see you next time. Peace.